SUMMING UP A CRAZY DAY IN ONE WORD, TRADED. JIMMY GRAHAM CHANGED HIS TWITTER BIO TONIGHT. CERTAINLY ONE OF THE MORE MEMORABLE DAYS IN NEW ORLEANS SAINTS HISTORY. STAR TIGHT END JIMMY GRAHAM IS HEADED TO SEATTLE. WDS REPORTER TRAVERS MACKLE IS LIVE TONIGHT OUTSIDE THE SUPERDOME WITH WHAT THIS TRADE MEANS AS SAINTS FANS GET READY TO RENEW THEIR SEASON TICKETS. TRAVERS. Adriana, not since 20 years ago when the Saints got rid of famed kicker Morton Anderson, has a player this high profile and loved by fans been traded or released by the New Orleans Saints. So tonight we wanted to know, so we asked industry experts and Saints season ticket holders, will this trade affect season ticket sales when the team starts playing inside this building in just a few months? At the Black and Gold Sports Shop in Metairie, Mike Bayham came in to buy the now half off Jimmy Graham jersey. And as a season ticket holder, he says the trade has no effect on him re upping on his tickets. I think, uh, you know, th while this is a negative move, you know, it was a necessary move, but, uh, you know, uh, probably a little bit less enthusiastic, but I'll still be there in the stands next season. Since the 2006 season, the year after Hurricane Katrina ripped through the area, the Saints have had nine straight season sellouts. And with the first payments for season tickets due March 20th, we asked experts if the Graham trade will turn fans off. Well, I think they ought to be patient, take a deep breath, and let, let's see how it plays out because, you know, you got another number one draft choice. Tulane University sports law professor Gabe Feldman agrees. I think it's unlikely to have a significant impact for at least a couple of reasons. One, particularly in football, one player, perhaps other than the quarterback, doesn't have that much of an impact on a team, certainly not compared to something like the NBA where you only have five guys on the court. So you've got a big roster size, guys wearing helmets. I don't think it's going to have that much of an impact. He says if the Saints win, ticket sales soar. At the end of the day, I think they believe that this is going to make them a stronger team on the field, which will make fans eventually forget about Jimmy Graham. And Bayham says he's all in, even though his favorite player is now out. I'm a fan of the team. I like the players, but now I'm a Saints fan. I was a Saints fan back when they were awful back in the 80s and uh, awful uh, again in the 90s and awful again around Katrina, but you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a team supporter. And former Saints executive Jim Miller says when teams do deals like this, they're aware there is a business side, but he says rarely, if ever, does that play a factor in trades. Usually it's all about the product on the field. Reporting on your side at the Superdome, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.